what is going on everybody inevitable here today what i have for you guys is the world's highest gun streak using the support package at the moment this is the world's highest at the moment using the support like i said it is a 53 gun streak on octane using the ak-12 with silencer and foregrip if you guys didn't see the picture in the beginning of this video it's the class setup that i'm using and i'm gonna try to put that picture in most of my videos so you guys know what the class setup so you guys won't be asking me in the comment section below now if you guys can reach, if we can reach 15 likes on this video, guys, that'll be incredible. So far, you guys have been doing so great with all the support. I, it's truly unbelievable how much support I'm getting on my channel. And truly, to all of you who like and share my videos, it truly does mean a lot to me. So, thank you all for doing that. Now, what I want to talk to you guys today about a little bit is, is the Xbox story. Now, before I say this, it, it, it's, there's one thing that, that you should know, and that's that my dad really really doesn't like me and my brother playing video games now with that being said me and my brother used to share one xbox and this xbox used to be in my brother's room and this was back in a time when modern warfare 3 was still out so that xbox was in my brother's room and any time that my dad would walk in and i'm playing my dad would take the xbox away because my dad is cool with and with my brother playing and everything because he already graduated high school and stuff so my dad doesn't really care if he plays video games, but he doesn't like me playing video games. So he would take the Xbox away, then my dad would get mad at me, I mean not my dad. My brother would then would then get mad at me for taking the Xbox away, and then he would like start hitting me and stuff. And, and then one day, my dad took, took it away for a long time, and my brother was like, look, you can't play, any, you can't play uh, Modern for 3 anymore. I'm sorry, but you get the Xbox taken away way too much, and it just, I, I need the Xbox to watch Netflix and stuff, so... He ended, he ended up kicking me out of his room. Of course, I wasn't like in there at the moment, but he ended up t um, like anytime he would go to work, work, or he would go to the store or something, he would take the cords with him so to make sure I couldn't play. So yeah, he pretty much just kicked me out of his room. So what I did when my birthday came up, like a couple of months later, like a couple of months later, I ended up going to Walmart and buying in my own Xbox with my own money for my birthday, and. I ended up coming back home, and my mom's cool with us playing video games and everything, so she already knew about it, and I didn't tell my dad about it. I actually had the Xbox hidden in a drawer. I don't know if I said that right, but I had it hidden like in this little uh, cabinet that I have in my uh, in this desk I have in my room. So if you guys would walk in my room, it wouldn't even seem like I had an Xbox in there. I had the controller hidden in, in, a, in a cabinet too, and also... So I had everything hidden, it had all the cords running through the back of the TV, so you wouldn't even notice that I had, a, that I had an Xbox in there. And guys, I was so paranoid that my dad was going to walk in any second and catch me playing with my new Xbox. And, and then he then and then he would flip shit and be like, what is this? You have your own Xbox, how come you didn't tell me? And then he ended up taking it away and breaking it and stuff like that. So I was just paranoid that he was, he was going to walk in any second and do that. So guys, I couldn't even enjoy Black Ops 2 to be honest. I, I was so paranoid that he wasn't walking. It, it wasn't even funny. I had to play with like one ear sticking out of my headset though, th throughout the whole Black Ops 2 because it was just unbelievable how scared I was of my dad and him finding out that I play video games and stuff like that and stuff like that. So I ended up telling him that I have an Xbox and I, I ended up like saying I wanted the YouTube and everything. And then he, he hits me with this. I've known that you've had an Xbox uh, this whole time already. I was just waiting for you to tell me and you never did. I'm just I'm just disappointed how you waited so long to tell me. So he had me scared for that long already knowing that I had the Xbox. So guys, he got me back really good. In my opinion, that's the best revenge. When you ex when you expect something to happen and you're paranoid about it and you can't even like think right because because all, all you're worried about is that thing and then and it never ends up happening. It's just like they have you paranoid for so long. It's one of those type of things that truly um it truly did get me back very good, and it, and there's and if there's one thing that I learned from it is that tell your parents everything, everything. I mean everything. Tell your parents everything. If you have something that you don't know if they if they would approve of, just tell them. If you want to go somewhere, if you want to buy something, just tell them, guys, because they will end up finding out. Trust me, parents know everything that goes on in their house, and it's it's amazing how like they would use it against you and stuff. So. As you can see right here, I pick up the ARX and start doing work with it. I don't know what kind of side is that, but I think it's the VMR side. But I know one of the talented. These guys are. We, we, we almost made the comeback too. We almost made an 86 point uh, down comeback. It didn't happen though. Hopefully, you guys don't mind that. Like I said, if you guys could drop a like, that would be appreciated. If you guys really enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that favorite and subscribe if you haven't already for more beast gameplay. 
and um what i wanted to say was if you guys want if you guys want to follow me on twitter the link will be down in the, in the description below and as always guys i'm inevitable and peace out Change just know I'm just like you. That's irrelevant. Huh. Known for making bad decisions for the hell of it. Huh. Young skizzles taste the rainbow, but that's so huh. beside the point in sitting next to it.